So, <laughs> so scary. <laughs> I don't want to. I, I don't want to get caught. I want to game. drink your rum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh for the goodness. audible participator, Kyle is wearing a Dracula cape in the basement of his house. So Listen, man, when you're, when he's you about move, where you thought he would start 2024. <laughs> when you when you move, you just start finding stuff again. That's true. And yeah. uh, what was I gonna do? Throw this thing out? <laughs> Did you have a bit where you talk about somebody? What's the line in the? Uh, when it, when it, the what we got the plush hand guy the, the, the oh thing with, yeah what the, no I thought he was a zombie the bronger the 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 bit with bronger yeah. what was it called what was his name yeah, t- terrifying Randy terrifying Randy your bit yeah and the yeah, one of the I remember one of the lines in it is the guy who sold it to you goes can you believe someone threw this out <laughs> that just a, I do do you have things now that we're talking about cover do you have like bits where you're like. You said it enough that you're like, that has to have been how it happened. I yeah, altered oh, no, I, I, well, what yeah, I know as well. truth. I've never outright lied about something, but I've like definitely told the story. We with all enough indulged to it. Spice, agree. yeah. But like I, that, that guy, like I remember that guy. Like, you believe somebody's gonna throw this out? And I remember that detail specifically and thinking, like, yeah, dude, I can't believe. Well, that's it. Is weird, like how perfect. Uh, like sometimes what someone can say is without like an artistic brush stroke on it. Like I haven't heard, yeah, I haven't heard uh, anything in a while, and I used to be good. Like I, I just don't think my radars. I think I've been like stressed about other things because normally my radar is pretty good for overhearing some real delightful, yeah, like uh, ra- randomness. I uh, when I was in Hawaii with my nephew. And my brother, I was like, hey, I'm going to, I was like going out to do a spot just to like write it off or whatever, you know? And I, I go to my nephew, I was like, do you want to come? And he just goes, he's like 10. He goes, hmm, well, I am quite bored. <laughs> I was just. <laughs> <laughs> I like this 10 year old's self-awareness. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't complaining about it, but he's letting you know. It was just very like, like when they started to use like language in a way he uh, instead of like so basically like it'll be like something like a like he'll like use the word actually or something when it doesn't need to be used actually I should put on my socks you know like it'll be like (laughs) you know like it's very strange things like that but it was like yeah you know what I will have breakfast yeah yeah but nobody was asking yeah well, you know where's a fun place to overhear things? The dollar store. <laughs> Nailed it. Those people sure Everybody, have a lot welcome on their to mind. No Accounting for Taste. This week we're talking about the dollar store. A place I've been so broke I had to steal from it. Whoa. Why is that the original the like there's no way they're calling the cops? Yeah. No. <laughs> The dollar store is a Waffle House without any of the what? class. I like Charlene's making the Dracula laugh, but I'm the one doing it. <laughs> Every time you remember Mandy when I dated her, Charlene? Um, no. Well, she was a vet tech, right? And mm-hmm. like, this was before I dated her, but the vet she worked for was from Transylvania. <laughs> so like he had the accent and every once in a while he would be like Mandy you have to clean up all the poop <laughs> <laughs> how do you ever get away from that Like, <laughs> I, why would you want to is the other thing You know, that's awesome that's fucking great alright everybody we'll be right back this is No Accounting for Taste on All Things Comedy Network Bill Burr's propaganda machine. Pal, you're good with words. You know that, man? I think the gym is dumb. Did Rachel walk in the room? Of course I've eaten a Baconator. Man, if you ain't doing CrossFit, you can get CrossFit. You're right. A long burger's not the worst idea I've ever heard. That's your sitcom right there as a a, a Mr. Fix-It-All who just can't fix his heart. 
We will not be defending Atlantic City. No accounting for taste. If it's something that somebody loves, let's try and celebrate it instead of uh, shitting on it. This Valentine's Day, good things come in big packages at MeUndies. Get 20% off your first order plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash NAFT. That's MeUndies.com slash NAFT for 20% off plus free shipping. MeUndies, comfort from the outside in. Do you ever feel like money is just flying out of your account and you have no idea where it's going? Well, I know. It's all those subscriptions. So I used Rocket Money to help me find out what subscriptions I'm actually spending money on. It was eye-opening, and I had them cancel the ones I didn't want anymore. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash NAFT. That's rocketmoney.com slash NAFT. Rocketmoney.com slash NAFT. Also, fuck it. Here we are. <laughs> what if you're from Transylvania and then you're also a veterinarian? Like yeah. that's got to be the weirdest combo. Yeah, because it like like I'm like oh you want I want to know why you think it's do you think it's weird because like when you hear the phrase <laughs> Transylvanian veterinarian you're like well they probably just bury all the dogs they find on the side of the road like I think or in your just, mind you think a Transylvanian vet is not. I don't think they help animals. Yeah, I don't think. I think there's like, uh, like if you're. By the way, Charlene's got like in the year two thousand face going on with this light on her face. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are recording at uh, in the evening because yes. of my technical gaffes today. Yeah. Oh, but, Transylvania no, I don't think, I think University just, has a veterinary school. Oh, old TU. It's a good school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when will we dissect the bats? <laughs> I miss my cousin. <laughs> like it's just you. You can't be from Transylvania. My education like, is eternal. Is there an Olymp? <laughs> is there an Olympic team? <laughs> oh, is there an Olympic Transylvania team? They can only do the Winter Olympics because it's because uh, you can do it oh. in the dark. You can go up north. I mean, there's a Romanian team, right? Isn't but Transylvania, Transylvania is a city, is, not a country, right? Yeah, yeah, or it's a in county, Romania, really? right? Yeah, it's really, yeah. It's a, it's just a. I've town? driven past it on a. Well, train. I'll tell you this: we are the dollar store of podcasts. That's for. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, there is an Olympic team, but it's the Romanian Olympic team. All right. Oh man. Oh, right there. I mean, that's that whole part of the country that, like, I thought was just at war, and then people were like, "Yeah, I just got, I went to Bulgaria." I'm like, they did. <laughs> you can you can do that with all the I've, rubble. I've been to Croatia's Bulgaria. got a gr- <laughs> Croatia's got great beaches. Like, no, nah, it's all just mm-hmm. bombed out. I don't know what's going on. Right? Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we should all go on vacation. That'll be fun. <laughs> Vote, vote! Please call it and tell us the worst place we should go. Dollar store. That's a not, not a bad much idea. To talk about. <laughs> yeah. Honest to God, for the Patreon, where should we go on vacation? You guys get to pick. We can barely record a podcast. Did you think we're going to be able to coordinate ourselves to travel? We'll bring together. the equi- we'll bring the well, equipment oh, over here's there. The thing. Kyle and I can get ourselves to L.A. and then from there, uh-huh. Charlene, you can point. The I've ship in charge in the right then. Direction. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like an awesome vacation. <laughs> we just go to Canada. Like we just go to Vancouver. You've been promoted to travel agent, Charlene. Awesome. You're gonna produce our journeys. There's no way we're talking about the goddamn dollar store. How much th- can we really talk about the dollar store? I don't mind. I, I tell you this story. Here's my personal story. One time I got a six pack of room temperature root beer from the dollar store. And I almost belched myself to death in the theater going to see son in law. <laughs> I drank all. I, I went with my cousin. Is, I drank, uh, some of Parley Shore's earlier work. You may know him from the soon to be released Richard Simmons biopic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, God damn. You went from Encino Man into Son in law. Encino Man. Uh, 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 well, I mean, that was the kind of the yeah, you're killing it. Indicative of the thing. It's good. No, it was good. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I, I drank uh, six room temperature root beers. <laughs> oh, we're and, back uh, to this scintillating. Uh, blew, uh, almost blew my whole throat out. Nobody else was there. It was son-in-law. Nobody's in the movie theater, so I just had a belching contest with my cousin. <laughs> 
What do you, what do you think son-in-law grossed? I, I belched so hard, I thought my throat was going to go inside out like a sock. <laughs> okay. Uh, How's that for gross? What? Okay. 36.4 million. I saw that. And what did you, did you see what the budget is? $52,000. 8 million. <laughs> <laughs> How does it cost? So it made million? almost five times its money back and it made 4 million. It, it make. Isn't it weird? Are we just doing Polly Shore? Are we just doing <laughs> Polly Shore? Please. He's the, his early, I was with him from when he was the, the weasel on MTV. He's, he's the he, like it's, when he was the weasel on MTV. I was on board. Hey, I, I, I fucking loved it. I was also eleven, but I loved yeah. it. I didn't hate it, man. I liked a, uh, I liked son in law. Makes out with I'd Kelly say, Kapowski I, I, in uh, it. Shit, uh, I would wheeze the juice. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I would do all the. I would do, use all the phrases, and then and then uh, Encino Man. I think Biodome was in that mix. Biodome of Polly Shore's kind of son-in-law Encino Man cinematic, his vibrant cinematic years, son-in-law, and then we've got to in the army now. Which I think I and I think that's where it started. I think. Started like, to oh, get is down. he? Wait a minute. Is he? Is he gonna like not fit in, but then change people's minds towards the end about their ideas about? Him? <laughs> I wonder if that's what they'll do. My dollar store experience. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was so broke, and we had to, the, the house I was living in at the time in Fort Worth was filthy. And we had to, like, we were all poor. So we were like, we have to clean this place. This is like truly getting to a point where, like, somebody with a weaker immune system could get sick if they come in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're at ground zero for some things. Yeah. And then we were like, all right, let's go get cleaning supplies. And we, uh, Oh my god! I went into a dollar store and I was like, "I'm just gonna walk out with this stuff and see if anybody says anything." <laughs> and they didn't. Well, what's the last thing you stole? No. Oh. <clears throat> Have you stolen anything as an adult? Your heart. Oh, I stole some athletic tape. Wait, like a, like two days ago. <laughs> on purpose or on accident? Here's the the truth of it is, I was do, I was <laughs> I was on tour with Bert and we were in one of the arenas, right? And um, they have like all these training tables and these athletic facilities, and there was just a bunch mm -hmm. of athletic tape. And I was like, as a joke to the the paramedic they had on site, I was like, I'm stealing this, and she like laughed. And then I just walked mm -hmm. and put it in my room. And I was like, I'm gonna put this back. But I, do, I don't like stealing. And then I just did it. And now I have it by accident. Yeah. So that's the last thing I stole, which is pretty recent. So if one of the four arenas I was in this past weekend, you guys don't know when I'm recording this. <laughs> what if, yeah, what if there's a, it was an athlete that like got hurt and they're like, oh, he'll be able to yeah. play again. His career won't end as long as I have some athletic tape. Well, there was a lot. They could, I'll be honest, they could have spared it. And it was a state sponsored. Arena. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm on. I don't. I'm, I have no problem with it. I know you don't. <laughs> but that's what happened. What was the last thing you stole? I can't remember. Not like I'm so such a good person. I'm just. I'm like, honestly, the way my memory's been lately, I might just be leaving stores with shit unintentionally. I left today. My garage was open for two hours. I left the house today. I'm like, is this what long COVID is? I just don't remember how to how to do anything. Oh, buddy. So I might I might have just stolen. St I feel I came so close. Like recently, I've come so close to just leaving restaurants without paying. Because I'm just like, mm, wonder, that was a great meal. I, I'm looking forward to the rest of my day. And I'm like, no, wait, there's something I need to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, pay for this meal. I am in like this weird place where I think about things like that all the time. Also, we mm -hmm. should always record at midnight. Um, <laughs> it's honestly it's not the confessional. one. confessional. Yeah. 
Uh, but like where I like, I think because I don't look like a troublemaker punk anymore and I have yeah. nice manners, like the shit I could get away with. Like I, I went to a nice dinner tonight with my friend and we just split the bill at this like fancy sushi place in Austin. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I think I could have been like, I'm going to the bathroom. And she could have been like, I'm going to the bathroom. And we could have both just left. I think I, I yeah. truly think like I could have gotten away with it. Like I think about that stuff a lot. And it, and then like the, the thing that he, like, since I'm a semi public person or I am a public person, yeah. I guess like, uh, oh, that's kind of the, one of the things that's keeping me from just, Stealing. <laughs> that's the thing uh, that's uh, keeping you, you, you from you, stealing. You didn't. You didn't. Uh, you didn't walk out on your bill at the sushi restaurant because the paparazzi was just. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be on the sidewalk like, waiting for you to emerge. <laughs> I don't know if it's the only thing, but it's definitely the thing I think about to flatter myself. Is that myself. Shane Torres and his gorgeous hair? <laughs> Quick. <laughs> the Guy Fieri comic doesn't believe in paying for food. No wonder he loves him. <laughs> Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. I needed this a lot. I've used this app several times. I have a thousand subscription services, and I probably used three of them. Everything from gym services like ClassPass to other things like various streaming services I'm not allowed to mention in this ad for many reasons. But Porn my sites. point being, money is going out the door all the time, and I never know why. Rocket Money has over 500, 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. That is a lot. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted, unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash NAFT. That's rocketmoney.com slash NAFT. Rocketmoney.com slash NAFT. A-F-T. And you heard that from the kitty cat, Jack. At some point in our illustrious love lives, we've all asked our partner the same age-old question that guys have probably been asking for a thousand years. Am I big? Well, me undies. Oh, pirate panties. Me undies doesn't know the actual answer to that or if your partner gave the actual truth. This Valentine's Day, they can help you look huge with their contoured pouch and ball caddy. Every Valentine's Day needs a Valentine's night, and MeUndies is your perfect thirst trap to get the mood right. If I feel comfortable, talk about the contoured <laughs> pouch and ball caddy. If I feel comfortable as hell, I like having my stuff fluffed up front and center. <laughs> hey, man, I got a bouquet. Don't just, what you got a bouquet of flowers, you're not just going to put it in a box, you're going to put it in a vase, you know? I've been told I have a perky dinger. <laughs> Style for everyone from all black classics. That's what I call my junk. Uh, oh, no, it's oh, not the other pants. They're versatile. They've got unmatched comfort. That, that, the stuff you feel, it won't be matched. They're responsibly sourced. These underpants are made by, uh, by angels. <laughs> Uh, problem free philosophy that's how i like to live if you don't like them it's on them they they'll take on the responsibility for it uh i love them i love them i love the i love stuffing my stuff in a little uh package out front I like doing that like oh you know what I like waiting, for the, mail, me wait, wait, waiting the for the mail waiting for the yeah they, no there's patterns uh but the cool features are that they just tuck all your stuff for like right under the heat lamp. <laughs> Order up, you know. If we're done cooking. Bring this out to the table. That's what the pouch does. Uh, yeah, I would know. recommend to him a friend. Shane, I'd say you wear them. You got a little perky dinger and a couple buddies. You got a little Gladys Knight and the Pips down there. Uh, well, guess what? They're on the main stage tonight with Me Undies. This Valentine's Day, good things come in big packages at Me Undies. Get 20% off your first order, plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash NAFT. That's MeUndies. Me, M E U N D I E S dot com slash N A F T for 20% off plus free shipping. They want your junk in their cups. 
Me undies, comfort from the outside in. That sounds like an ad for BetterHelp, but also it's for these underpants. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't, uh, I can't think of what I, I've stolen, but I think I, yeah, I, I, I like, I'm at a mix because I know there's. Like now there's, I mean, it's, well, it's what the news wants to focus on because it gets you to click, but like these mass shoplifting sprees. Yeah. Like 30 kids will just go to a Nike store and steal shit. And I've had like mixed feelings. I'm like, if I saw somebody stealing, you know, like I say, if you see somebody stealing diapers or formula or medicine, you did not see somebody stealing diapers, formula or medicine. That's stuff that you need and that is out of the price range or condoms or anything like that. Hey, psh. I'm looking the other way. So it's what they're taking. I also, yeah, and I also think that, like, well, corporation what, what like these Nike, dirty, who cares? Unwed barefoot teens. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, like, so then these people they go and they like rob an Apple store. Of course, Apple can handle it. But now, what about just the policy of like, is this em- is this empowering other like, what if we just get 50 of us to bum rush a store and they're not going to shop stop shoplifters? Let's just go do that. So I'm like, well, I don't, it's not who they're stealing from. I'm like, well, that's not how society keeps its building blocks from eroding. It's just like, well, people, yeah. a, whole, a whole lot of people wanted to steal. So, okay. But also, yeah, what, Balenciaga or however you say it? What, oh, a sweatshirt that's eight hundred dollars? That's they're stealing from anybody that's trying to buy it. So fuck them. I don't know. I got. Yeah. I mean, that's you know they, I like- you know they say when mm-hmm. like society as a whole is doing well like, mm-hmm. economically, people steal less. There's less theft. Yeah. Because- but it's also the theft of something that's already late stage capitalism that they made this brand preposterous. Yeah, so that's, like oh, that whole that whole world. Like, I don't feel bad for the people making it. I don't feel bad for the people stealing it if they get caught. Like, oh, that whole community of inflated pricing over there is the, no way false this costs eight hundred dollars. Like, no, no, but the idea that they that decided to charge it. it. Yeah, yeah, and so then somebody stole. I'm like, well, that's an economy that I'm not. I felt bad about like the bike shop here that keeps getting robbed. You know, I like the bikes. I like the people that run the bike shop. I don't want, you know, it's an independent bike shop. Then the prices are going to go up because their insurance, everything goes up. I feel bad about that. This still doesn't say anything about the dollar store, but <laughs> I can't. I, maybe they I were like, maybe they were like, supposed to have a direction there, on this. Podcast. There's no way that guy's stealing from the dollar store, right? That's where I'm like, yeah, they, I mean, how, no, no, like, and maybe they're just like, flabbergasted. We're, I mean, almost you could justify stealing from the dollar store in a way when because I think part of the argument of us like, well, if, if you steal from like Dillard's or wherever, mm-hmm. they're going to pass that cost onto the next buyer. Right. It's like a thing they say. It's like <laughs> but the all, dollar stores got to stay the dollar store. Kind of. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. What is it? Balenciaga's selling a. Charlene has a uh, shared a screen with us. Balenciaga is selling a fuckboy's mattress for forty six thousand three hundred dollars. A gorgeous bundle of sheets for every amateur poet on hinge to lay their head. <laughs> but that, like, these places exist to just have rage bait, though. Like they're pricing it because they know it's ridiculous and it'll get the attention on it. Yeah. Like you know they're back. They're like, can you believe we're charging as much for the thing? <laughs> yeah. Can you believe but, they're gonna? Do you well, feel they, like that like, about comedy tickets sometimes? Oh, for sure. Uh, they price these things the way Trump like prices his value whenever he's being audited, whatever it suits him. Yeah. You know, like, but they're just like, well, look, Balenciaga, we made. One hundred forty-six thousand dollar mattresses out of old T-shirts, mm. but we only sold two, so we donated the other ninety-eight. <laughs> so we're writing yeah. off ninety-eight mm. times forty-six thousand eight hundred, whatever. Yeah, like of like because we gave it to a homeless shelter, yeah, you know, or whatever kind of fucking bullshit. So it's just nonsense. 
It's all made up. Everything is just like words are made up. This is where I'm at in my life. I'm I'm spiraling. Are you the all right, buddy? Is where I need to start. <laughs> do you want to? You want to start? Do you want to talk about yourself? You want to? Do you want us to find the good qualities in Shane Torres? Yeah, <laughs> they're more than a buck. I can't afford it. <laughs> you want to talk about the things that we will defend Shane Torres against these haters? Charlie, that can don't you play a voicemail exist? on the dollar store before we we go to our commercial? I, we haven't even talked enough about the dollar store yet. <laughs> you think well, what, now we need to go and fucking order? What What would you get from the dollar store right now? What What do you need from the dollar store? I think what things as would you as the allow? dollar store goes, cleaning supplies are always a good purchase. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like the quality of it will be enough. You sometimes I feel like it can make something dirtier. <laughs> the cleaner when you get the cleaning. Supplies. I think I think there are some cleaning supplies where like I went with Simple Green. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get the big concentrated jug of Simple Green. I can't stand the fucking smell of Simple Green after washing one cabinet with it. <laughs> it smells like a like a like a children's drink from a third world country. Awful. <laughs> Does it work? Is it like better for the environment? Is that the idea? It's smell. It's like it's like. Well, this is the reason Nicaraguans are never taller than four foot seven. Like that's like that's what it's <laughs> like. This is that this this is hurting a community. <laughs> it's bad. It's like it's, it smells like almost almost sweet. Like I almost want to taste it. But that's why you're like, well, you're supposed to water it down, and I do, and it's like it's never watered down enough. It's either. Water, or it makes everything sticky. Mm-hmm. I'm washing my house with lime Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were gonna get something from the dollar store right now, Charlene, what would you get? <laughs> what would Ooh. I get? Um, yeah. Silverware. Oh, yeah, because I only have one knife left. I, I know, know I stay at your house one. when I'm in Los Angeles. Yeah, I don't know where you the other have one went. knife right now. Yeah, I know your Can next we? thank you gift. <laughs> we, we, need the, we need the Patreon to get together, together just to get Charlie. To apartment too. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> what do you do when you like that, that knife is dirty and you're about to have a steak? Do you just get like an old ice skate or something out? What do you do? I just wash it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what you can do. Ooh. You always know the status of that you one knife. You just got quipped. I just use a pair of scissors and cut it up. Oh. All right. <laughs> Hold on, my dish is dirty. <laughs> Boy, real. I only got one live- spoon, so I put your soup in a cup. <laughs> you live you live like a soldier. <laughs> got my mess kit. I would get I'd see like paper products, stationery if you need it, post-its, little things like that where the quality, yeah, where quality's not important, it's just a necessary ticket. Okay. And yeah. then uh yeah, that's what I would get. I would probably also probably weird snacks. As as uh, the aforementioned root beer, uh, you know, I'll take you it. Go, I'll roll the dice. You go with cheap, unhealthy chemical foods. Yeah, let me get some yeah. Chinese Doritos. Yeah, I feel like yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I feel like I can get discontinued kinds of Butterfingers. Yeah, yeah I mean, give me some um, some flavor triangles. Yeah, yeah, I'll have a Take Five or whatever, like or Mountain Dew Code <laughs> yeah. Blue. Give me this <laughs> North. Let me get this North Korean Milky Way bar. Take Five is my favorite candy bar. <laughs> this is the least surprising really? thing. Jake. What is what's a take five? Is it like um, the fat it's Twix? Chocolate and pretzel and caramel. What is wrong with that? It's delicious. Okay. Yeah. Ta- Again. Take five. Thank yeah, you. take five, sure. Not- Thanks. <laughs> Here's a <laughs> take five. Take, take five. five is your of course take five is your favorite candy bar. You, have you ever had a thousand? I don't hate to take bar, five, but the fact grand? that it's your favorite candy bar, you think it holds a finger to like classics is crazy. It's I think that's like when you, you get Mount Rushmore being like a uh, Millard Fillmore should be up there as well. You know what? No, <laughs> I'm gonna. St- I'll tell you this: everybody gets locked into classics when it's candy bars because they're impulse buys. Mm-hmm. Whereas there's so many options. Mm-hmm. Why not roll the dice on some wild cards? I don't, but I don't buy candy bars for myself. 
It's an but then if I'm, if I'm at the point where I'm like, oh boy, I sure need a candy. I need a candy bar right now. I get a Snickers. There, it really satisfies ad campaign. It yep. worked on me. I'm acting like a little bitch right now. I should get a king size Snickers <laughs> mm-hmm. and stop acting that way. I think the candy bar thing again. We're talking about the dollar store today, guys. Give They've us a got ring candy at, bars at the dollar store. <laughs> yeah, give us a ring at nine seven one two five nine eight three zero two and tell us what they don't you have, think they don't of have, doll, the dollar store. While we talk about candy bars. <laughs> they don't have pay. They don't have payday, but they got a. I'll get you on Monday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh goodness! Oh my god! Um, no Milky Way. I think Ways, the candy bar issue. Galaxies. Go on. It's you. always like. It's an availability thing. Yeah. You know, like, I feel like most bodegas or convenience stores are going to have, like, seven or eight kinds of candy bar. You know, like, more or less, like, the major players. But I wish there was, like, I wish bodega stores would get into the grocery store ideal mindset of being like, hey, here's a, here's all your Wonder Bread and your White Bread. But also, you know, if you want, like, nine grain bread, I want I want the convenience store to have that for candy bar. Give me a couple of, of flare items, you know? Yeah. A little bit of shelf okay, space, though. Flare. It's probably a big commodity. Big risk for them to put out a box of Take Fives or somebody like Charlene. I, they're made by away. Reese's. <laughs> like, it's not That's a what crazy I thought. I thought yeah. they were in a Reese's family. <laughs> what is it? Nut Nut Rages is a Reese's? Yeah, those are Nut, gross. <laughs> Nut Rages. Oh, uh, man. The, fi- the 50% off Christmas candies? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. buddy. So this is not dollar store, but I will say this. The day old bake sale rack at a grocery store has gotten me through some hard times. I've, like, I've been loving the day olds. I got a spot yeah. over here. Yeah. Love it. For bread. Oh, the Halloween cookies. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the holiday cookies, mm-hmm. the grocery store holiday cookies. Yeah. Ah, day after Halloween. I think I'm not going nuts. I would buy the- that shit the day after. I'd buy a Halloween cookie the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. You could buy it the day after next Thanksgiving, and it would be fun. How many how many homeless shelters is giving unhoused people diabetes? Like, well, all we got right now is a we got ten thousand Reese's Christmas trees that we're gonna need you guys to live off of till well. well I'll tell you this: eat, my dad lived in a homeless val- shelter for a Valentine's while. Valentine's Day. Turns my dad lived in a homeless shelter for a while, and he had diabetes, so you might be on to some of their. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, it's yeah, the donated food. There was so much Christmas candy at the Rite Aid over here. I'm like, I feel bad if it's going to waste. Like, I, I like, I have to eat it so it doesn't go in the trash. That's not. I just want to be like, works. you do want to be like, what do you guys do with it? Where's you the know, like? What go? do you do? You yeah, want? All, okay. It ends up at the dollar yeah. store. It ends up at the dollar store. I know we're trying to go back there. We're already talking about day olds. We're getting the idea of it. Do you want to know a little secret mm-hmm. about pastries and stuff? I cannot mm-hmm. wait. When I waked, when I worked at the donut factory. <clears throat> You worked at a Old donut, donut? Yes, I did. That's my boy. When I was, when I was in high school. It's, I did more stories to come for that. But old donuts that didn't sell or weren't <laughs> or weren't going to like go out for the shipment or they made too many or something, they grind them up and they make... You ever get like an almond croissant with almond paste in it? Yeah. That's old pastries. Almond, the flavors of almond and the flavors of chocolate will cover up the flavor in anything else. Oh, yeah. So they will take so the, the pastries. paste is like. The paste is ground up pastries with almond flavoring in it. And I will eat the shit. It's out delicious. Of that. I was stuff. just going to say, I don't care. <laughs> That's like when, remember, I, like, when I, I like you, know the, f- you know, the chilies at Wendy's is just all old burgers. I'm like, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be offended, but I'm also kind of like. I was never wondering what the almond paste was before. I just assumed it was almond paste. But so that's so, that's, like, and I don't know what the paste part of. I know almonds. <laughs> but Reese's God peanut butter, damn. Reese's this peanut butter dark. cups. That if if you got that peanut butter from a Reese's cup in a jar of peanut butter, you'd be like, this is fucking gross. But they put right. it in a little cup with chocolate, and this is the greatest uh, uh, sweet treat you can get. Yep. The foundation of the whole company. Yeah. So who knows? All this candy might be going back. Getting all that. Maybe that's what nougat is. What is nougat? You don't know what nougat is. Nobody, Nobody knows, knows what it is. It's gross is what it is. 
Whoa. Charlie, you don't know what nougat is? Strong words. It's gross. There was um, I can't remember what mall it was at in LA, but there was a candy store in it that let you make your own design, your own candy bar. And it would have all these well, options. Yeah. And uh, I went there with, and I think I think the day after got divorced. Or announced his divorce, and we were there. And we made the most disgusting. Ca- it was ten years ago. It's like it's fine. He's not divorced. Wait a minute. Guys, Let's go make some guys. My, my wife's leaving me. You know what? I got just the thing to cheer cheer you up. Let's go stand in line with these thirteen year old girls. And make make you your own candy bar. It's gonna be worse. <laughs> But I remember, like, you would pick, just like, fillings l- and moles. So, like... <laughs> Wait, can I just imagine you guys in line? It's like, fucking bitch. I think the, I think she's <laughs> cheating on me. Oh, can I do... Wait, can I actually do crushed peanuts? Oh, yeah, put some of those in there. Well, just because, like, I, I, I shouldn't have been looking at her text messages, you know, but then she leaves her phone out, and she knows I know the code. So how do you guys like, feel I about, think she wanted... How do you guys Ooh, wait, feel about but, texture? Do you want Rice Krispies in this or no? Like, cause Ooh, I, I yeah. like rice crispy. Like, I it, I like how it like aerates. It makes it a lighter. It makes it a whole, the yeah, whole yeah. thing a little bit lighter. Cause the white chocolate. It was not gonna get any lighter. lighter. My fucking bank account. I'm holding oh, on to the- every goddamn penny. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just. What was he sad or happy about the? Day? I think it was like kind of a long time coming. Uh, we should probably bleep their names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but I remember we were there, and one of the categories, like you would pick all these different. Because they were like, you pick your base, like which kind of chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, God milk chocolate, it. whatever. And then you pick like, what are the fillings you want? Yeah. And so one it's of like the, a hot fudge sundae, but it's a Kind of, yeah. But like one of the categories they were calling it, if you wanted nuts in it, they called it a nut meat. Which is just so. <laughs> nut meat? Yeah. I feel like they, like the person who put this concept together was like, well, you can't just say nut. That's gross. <laughs> hey, this business that's designed around candy that children will get, they're going to make these kids. Also, it was like $32 for two candy bars. It was crazy Fuck. expensive. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Can I tell you guys about a nice sweet treat I had yesterday? I'm thinking about getting it in a little bit. Did you get okay. it at the dollar store? No, yeah, I got a Whataburger, which is, no kind of, which is kind of the same color scheme as a dollar store. Why do people say Whataburger? <laughs> Why do people say it all fucking dumb? I had Whataburger. What is... Whataburger. What, isn't that what it says? Yeah. Like, what oh, burger. what a what a, what a burger! It's an accent. So, oh, yeah, wow. there's never been an what irritating accent talking about food a, out of the city of Chicago. Burger. Fuck off! <laughs> but that's not how you say those words ever. It's not an accent would be like what what burger? That would be with an accent about where it's from. What what a burger that was? What a burger? That's not even where's that what a burger. accent from? What a burger? No, say it. It's just an accent. It's Whataburger. 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 How do you say the word? I say, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, you're not saying, what are you doing? Whataburger. What are you doing? <laughs> no. You can't, like, you can't, like, put the equalizer <laughs> on it and make it. Whataburger. What are you doing? Whataburger. Yeah, Whataburger. exactly. What are you what? doing? Whata- I went to Whataburger. Never sucks too. I wanted to tell you about a great treat I had. Oh, sorry. Yeah, tell me about it. Never mind. You ruined. Well, I mean, the episode is dollar store. So what a burger doesn't doesn't even have anything to do with. Oh, now we're fucking course correct. (laughs) Forty-five minutes in. We are like we are Columbus thinking he landed in India. (laughs) I'm sorry, Shane. I'm glad no, you enjoyed. However, you want to say it, I'm glad. And a Dr. Pepper milkshake. It was what a treat it was. It was so good. Dr. Pepper milkshake. Yeah. Not like a slushy. Like no, like a ice milkshake. cream. Yeah. 
It was awesome. I you know, know, and here's why I'm going to tell you. You know how when like you get a slushy or a slurpee or whatever, yeah, it's got the great Coke flavor, but it can get watered down at the end. Mm-hmm. That issue is non-existent with the Dr Pepper milkshake. <clears throat> it is fantastic. Flavor profile, and it's a good fast food milkshake. Man, now you yeah. got me. I'm sorry I jumped on you about how you said it. What a burger! Uh, yes, thank you, thank you. My dad had like you know those like thing like the pop things on the back of your phone. The <clears> oldest. <throat> I almost got. I I bought a new phone yesterday. It's a fifteen hundred dollar nuisance, uh, yeah. but I almost bought one of the pop things to put on the back of my phone. I was like, dodge. That's my, how I know I'm getting older. Well, I my wanted dad. A, I had, wanted a gadget. I, you want to know how old my dad had one? And we're like, why do you have the Wonder Woman logo on your phone? He's like, I thought it was Whataburger. <laughs> he doesn't even know. He's never lived. He's lived in Chicago his whole life. I, you, got, you like Wonder Woman? I thought it was Whataburger. Yeah. Oh well. He Does he like Whataburger? I don't. I don't know. I don't know how he thought either of those things. I don't know why he has. There's the only one it. W I don't and one burger. Okay, but what? It's just a bunch of W's that could look like one W. I don't know where he got a Wonder Woman pop it from, let alone one that he would, in context, go, "Oh, it's a Whataburger thing for my phone." I have no fucking idea where it came from, but I appreciate. It. I'm like, I'm like, it's Wonder Woman. He's like, oh, okay, whatever. Well, here are six little-known perks about the dollar store. <laughs> Let's hear them. Let's hear them. I you bet you get a Wonder Woman apps. pop it. Cashback apps work in different ways, but a number of them will work in dollar stores. This is especially true for those that allow you to scan your receipts after you've been to the store. These apps let you earn money or points towards your shopping and often also have bonuses on specific products. Okay? Uh, you can use coupons. I can't a- you can use coupons <laughs> dot 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 sometimes. <laughs> There's no strip club called the dollar store. Mm. Uh, pretty no. good. Yeah. Pretty good. You could snag the Dollar Tree. This is like you know the thing a with stripper, the li- a stripper who calls herself the Dollar Tree would be not fucking bad. hilarious. Oh, uh, showing. Do they do? The, I don't think they do this in Chicago. Maybe they do it in Georgia. Do they do the dollar dance at weddings in Georgia? Are you familiar with this concept? No. It's just like you go up, everybody dances with the bride, and you like yeah. hand a little money to her dresser. You like kind of like put it in her hand or palm. They call it the dollar dance. So you just give some cash. Mm. So the dollar it's, dance <laughs> stripper. Sounds so trashy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's a little something for you. Uh, yeah, like, and, uh, but, like, what would you like? What do they do in Chicago? Just hand a sweaty envelope. Uh, we, yeah, we just don't touch the bride. We, <laughs> we that- leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you grab my ass, this five turns into a twenty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I honestly believe. Ooh. It's me, your cousin Jerry. Ah, boy, you filled out. <laughs> We're half cousins. <laughs> I vowed to out kiss which you half. now. <laughs> if we had more than dollar store production ability on this, we'd be a rich podcast. <laughs> you can use your snap food benefits in dollar stores. That's great. Oh, and the sixth benefit is you're never too far from a dollar store. Dollar Tree down the street. Uh, Dollar General, though. I didn't realize Dollar General is not a dollar store. I went to my first one in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. And it's just like, oh, it's just like an easy, it's like a convenience store. Oh, really? Like easy grocery store. I didn't know that. That's misleading. Dollar, that's, so this, this is what I found out because I'm like, oh, I need like a toothbrush. I want to get some snacks. And the guy at the hotel is like, oh, there's a Dollar General right there. I'm like, man, I don't want like weirdo stuff. It's just a convenience store. It's like a Rite Aid. I had no idea. I guess that goes to show how strong dollar uh, store branding is. Because yeah. I, if I hear dollar in the title, I'm assuming it's like a 99 cent store or what you know, like one of those kind of places. So we for, we didn't have the first iteration in Addison, Illinois. It was called it was actually called the Garage Sale Store. 
and it was a store. But like, hey, you know that stuff that you w- wouldn't buy at a garage sale? Well, we we're paying rent <laughs> on a storefront. <laughs> we got a sign. <laughs> we got a sign that doesn't tape to a telephone pole. You can definitely get another knife there, Charlene. I can guarantee you that. You can definitely awesome. get one more knife. <laughs> Did your parents It was adult? always like it was always just like, oh look, plastic bowls. Like that was it. It was just God. plastic bowls and like flip flops. Did you guys ever have uh garage sales or did your parents No. There is, they should (laughs) have. My mom, a few garage sales like we had in our life, and she would haggle with everyone. Like people would be like, I'll give you this. She'd be like, no dice. Take a Just. Hell yeah. That's the whole point of a garage sale. It's a cooler. It's a, it's a water, it's a water, you know, like it's a a water cooler we never use. Just let him pay $2 for it. But that's the game. She would be like, "You're gonna. He's gonna come into my garage, not my house, my garage." Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on your mom's side on this. Yeah, one. Me too. What? I and love. Also, anytime there was an estate sale or a garage sale, and I was out with her. Oh man, that's the most old lady thing you can ever do. Oh, like it's I, just, I love it. Yeah, I'll I like selling stuff on offer up or something or Craigslist. And if I say like the price is firm and they try to haggle, I'm like, I'm sorry, the price is firm. And then they try to haggle again. I tell them now the price is higher. <laughs> like, oh, this bike part thing is like 50 bucks. Come on, man, 20. I'm like, no, firm, 50 bucks is a good deal. All right, 25. I'm like, all right, 60. Like, I just love, <laughs> I love it. Okay, be a dick about it. I will. I don't need your money. I'm just trying to clean stuff out. At a reasonable price, you don't want to adhere to the description in the ad, then I'll, I'm going to buffoon on you. God. <laughs> Can we go to the voicemails? This might yeah. be the only yeah. thing on this episode that's about a Stand in podcast again, baby. Stand it. Stand. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Uh. Okay, guys, we'll be right back after this commercial break. I'm sure they won't regret sponsoring this podcast. Are we back? Speaking of down under, (laughs) how's your (laughs) undercarriage? Did we, uh, this episode, I don't know how much we could talk about. The dollar store. We got they quite hurt, a few. They voicemails. hurt communities. Yeah, they hurt stuff. Fine, they they just undercut regular businesses, and they're, you know, they they target poor people and stuff, and it's bad. Ten items you should always buy the dollar store. We should do this. I'm sorry, are we on voicemails now. Yeah, we should do the ten items though. We can do the listen. There's All no right, reason here. You run down, run them down. We're going to do a lightning round on these 10 items. Okay. All right. Okay. Seasonal decor. Mm -hmm. I love that. 100%. Dollar store that. No problem with it. Yeah. Vases. I feel like that's one of those things you think it's going to be a dollar and then it could be 10. Yeah. Sometimes they're mixing bowls. What was I telling you about plastic bowls? Okay. We got experience in that. We're nailing this. Mm-hmm. Dinnerware. Here we go. Dinnerware and drinkware. Charlene, just like what mm-hmm. you're talking about. Jesus yep. Christ. How have I partnered with you two for pregnant a podcast pregnancy empire? tests? I, a pregnancy test. I feel like I've heard this Ooh. premise in comedy several times. Yeah. yeah, dollar store pregnancy test. If you're buying a pregnancy test at a dollar store, you get a dollar you worth pregnant, it. you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh greeting cards. Yeah, five like- five ninety nine for a greeting card. That's what many retailers unabashedly charge. I can't remember the last time I bought a greeting card for somebody. No, I was sending postcards for a while. So that was a fun thing. You were doing a nice thing for people. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing it back. It's yeah, picture frames. Mm-hmm. They're always overpriced. So. But I feel like that's Not one of those things at the dollar store. You'll get it. Everything at the dollar like, store is eight ninety nine. It's a dollar. Tw- everything is a dollar twenty-five. By the way, at the dollar store. So that's yeah. whoa. 
Inflation's up 25% of the dollar store. Arts and craft supplies. Ooh. I feel like that's not... The pr- I feel like the quality on those is so bad you actually notice. I don't think these are like... I don't think we're talking of the next Monet when we're saying <laughs> get your arts and crafts supplies. It- it's Monet. And- <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... I didn't want to be an impressionist, but these paints are so shitty, they just ran together. Um, that's a little impression of a quality theory. product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Candy, planning on a movie night, but don't want to shell out about $4 a box for Sour Patch Kids at a convenience store. Head on over to Dollar Tree, you get tons of different types of candy for a buck twenty-five. This reason alone, mm-hmm. I will go to the do- I got to start going to Dollar Tree. Okay. Because yep. candy, I don't like to have a lot of candy around, but I have one little sassy bag of bad stuff to go yeah. to right now. Sour Patch Gummy Worms. Nice. I just have, I'll have like two at a time and I leave it alone. Two at a time. Yeah. And then you come I back can't. to it. And then, like, you guys- and then I'll be like, ooh, I'm having a rough day. Give me a hit of them gummy worms. What do you guys think of, uh, and this is not about dollar stores, but pretty no much kidding. nothing else on this podcast. No many- <laughs> <laughs> I still got a map of Transylvania up on my screen. Right here. <laughs> you ever like gone to the movies with someone who get popcorn and then they'll put like the candy in the popcorn bucket? Yes. I first? have not fucked with that. The what peanut M and M's in the popcorn, delicious. What do you? Oh think? God, I knew, this is. I should have seen this coming with you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> tell me that's not delicious. I haven't done it. I think there's a weight discrepancy that the M and M's will just wind up at the bottom of the popcorn. Yeah. Side note: Rachel got me a popcorn maker for Christmas. I thought it was going to be over the top, but then. I told Sean Jordan, he's like, we have a popcorn maker. It's awesome. So Sean thinks everything is awesome. I know. And that's why I asked him. But the idea, like, I don't see, I understand, like, the salty and sweet going together in certain cases, but a hot popcorn with just an M&M in it, I just, I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm going through a junk drawer looking for something specific, and I'm not going to yeah, find it. Yeah, I don't oh, like. there's like old keys and buttons. I'm like, I just need an Allen wrench. And like, I, like I'm just getting a handful <laughs> of stuff. This stuff that doesn't make any sense, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, sometimes I stuff it. that doesn't make sense is delicious. I, but I'm not against this. This is your I just, take five mentality. Well. Take five is but, delicious. <laughs> But a popcorn ball covered in chocolate, caramel corn, that makes sense. Mm. I'm not anti it, but I don't like the oh. way it's. I wish there was a more efficient. Like, I wanted to be like popcorn, peanut M&Ms, like layered. I want like a two bowls, layer dip. two bowls, two bowls. You can, yeah. uh, uh, you two can bowl. regulate, regulate Thank, the yeah. uh, ratios. Yes, I agree with you, Kyle. I like this <clears throat> bullshit right. Charlene's saying. It's you not. know what we gotta? You know what we gotta do a whole episode on raisins. <laughs> <laughs> As people don't like raisins, and then everybody's all mad at raisins, and they show up in something. They're like, "Oh, fucking raisin!" But I, I like raisins. You like them in your cookies? I, I'm not like no, 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 no. Bent out of it's shape a simple about question. it. If do you you're gonna give cookie, me, do you prefer a cookie with cookie the raisin or without? With, if it's like, oh, we ran out of the plain ones, but we have oatmeal with raisin, and I'm like, cool, I'll have that. Yeah, you just said your silver medal. You, I'm not gonna make. If I'm making cookies, I'm not gonna put raisins in them. Okay, so we can't lose. do an episode about raisins. You yeah, already we can't because good- people lose people lose their shit. Like raisins, like raisins are like possum toes that show up in something, and they're not. They're just raisins, and they're fine. Like trail mix. Like, oh, fucking raisin in here? I, now I got to piss in the bag. It's fine. 
They show up in salads they're not supposed to be in, though. That's insane. They, but so do cranberries. Mm. Why are people mm. already with dry? Why are people already with sun dried tomatoes? But we'll. I'm not. I'm going to shit, I mean, shit in our shoes over raisins. Tomatoes. Yeah, and, and cranberry is a long established world of savory mm-hmm. with the Thanksgiving. So, like, I, like I, I get it. Cranberry went to the forefront. You were people were putting jams and jellies we talking about the dollar what, store. What about a mint no, jelly not. that's supposed to go on lamb? Mint jelly on lamb and pork chops, also, by the way, is delicious. Okay, but no raisins anywhere. No raisins. What about what about raisins in a bread pudding? Where do you what about there? grape? What about grape jelly on a lamb or a pork chop? No, that doesn't make any sense. I put mint jelly and egg McMuff. I put a grape jelly and egg McMuffin. <laughs> Well, yeah, that it's breakfast item. So, what if I put raisins on it? <laughs> on an English muffin? <laughs> on an egg yeah. muffin? No butter, just English muffin. Did you say Engl- you put grape jelly on an English muffin or egg on McMuffin? An egg, an egg McMuffin. Oh, oh egg McMuffin. <laughs> yeah. Kyle. No, I think that's. I've, I'm the fattest I, I've one got here, no and problem I wouldn't do that. that. I got yeah. no problem what are with they, that. What are they, why are they offering jams? And jellies at McDonald's, they're yeah, not just what? giving you a, a just a biscuit. Yeah. It's got yes, they do. something. They have just biscuits. <clears throat> really? They do. Yes. Yeah, like what they're like. They'll do it outside. Like you can get a you can get a a sausage biscuit, right? And you can get just a biscuit. That's an option. It's like their toast. Fuck or around with just a biscuit. Oh yeah, <clears throat> let me go to McDonald's get toast. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Also, back to the raisins thing before we get t- start talking about the dollar store. <laughs> yeah, I bet you can get raisins. I bet you can get hella raisins at the dollar store. Oh, so like oh, a yeah. huge oh, box. You can get that sure, sure, little box. red box. Yeah, that's Tiny, a cereal size. Little of boxes. Sun-made. Little red boxes. They're and not going to go bad. Tiki tacky. Raisins suck. Uh, but raisins in a People bread pudding. People say that. I feel like. Yeah, that's appropriate. That's where they belong. Yeah. yeah. What about? This is a question. Mm-hmm. Currants or currants? Currants. Are basically raisins. Yeah. Currants. Yeah, who, who calls them currants? My somebody, mother. Some people with somebody accents. Somebody tasted like, them for the like first Whataburger. time at Whataburger. <laughs> yeah, I beat you to it, you fucking prick. I saw it coming from a mile away. I had a currant <laughs> shake from Whataburger. <laughs> It was divine. <laughs> oh my god! Let's You're the in your forties wearing what are, a vampire cape. What are, cape. What are I don't need currants? <laughs> are currants the little things from inside? Uh, the ocean. What's the thing that's hard? What's the thing that's hard? Pomegranate. To eat? Yeah. No. No. That's what are the individual? What are the individuals from a pomegranate called? A pomegranate, pomegranate seeds. seeds. <sighs> Fucking all right, smart guys. We both knew that, and you feel dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me. Uh, okay. <laughs> Play a voicemail. Play a voicemail. Okay. Here Next we- episode's raisins. <laughs> Here's our first voicemail. Uh, dollar store swag. I still have my uh, pair of baby Yoda socks I got at a uh, Dollar Tree in South Florida. And they're holding up pretty good after a couple of years. And, uh, oh yeah, I also thought it was fucking hilarious that I saw in one of the aisles of that Dollar Tree um, pregnancy tests. Just not even there it is. put away. In a, it, it, it was just like a pile of them. It, they weren't even like arranged in any mm-hmm. sort of way. Um, I think, I, I wonder if that's a good seller. Oh, Kyle. Uh, I really oh, wish I'd gone to see you at Hawaiian Brian in Oahu because I, I'm from Honolulu, and um, I really wonder how that went because <laughs> Hawaii can not really be the greatest comedy crowd. I think, right? Um, I really wish I went. I would have bought you a beer or six. Anyway, uh, keep up the great work. Love it. Um, have a good one. Oh, yeah, Thanks. this is Mikey wow. Wow. from oh, hey, Mikey. Hawaii. Oh, Mikey. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck here in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Wait. 
Hey, wait, why did you go to South Florida if you're from Hawaii? <laughs> Also, also thanks, Mikey and, and Hawaiian mm. Brian's. Those shows were those shows were just fine, just fine. Uh, no, they were fine. Yeah, it, it, no, he's right. It's a weird spot, Honolulu. But the people, people that were the there beach. to see it they were don't, fun. They don't come to Hawaii to hear it. I, I can't believe I was brought over there to do shows. Like I'm a distraction from the, everything else you could be doing. I'll but, tell you this: the person who promotes pretty, comedy shows in Hawaii cool. is the most indoor kid there's ever been. Yeah, yeah. Now he's switching over to beer. <clears throat> or it's rich people that are just like, yeah, we know what the sunset looks like. Come on, man. We're stuck on the island. <laughs> Be funny for us. We're we're rich beyond uh, conceivability. And this is what we'll do with a Friday. That was the last time I was there. <clears throat> Pregnancy test, absolutely. <clears throat> it is uh, weird that they are low, all in low a pile. In- well, you probably got again. It's if it, you know, it's low income families that are going there, low income families that need to know about that stuff, and you know, might have to take means I, to plan on something like that. You know, ag- plan agreed, on agreed. being a parent or something like that to say. Uh, so, full force, one hundred percent. Lots of pregnancy tests at the thing. <laughs> Sorry, next, I bummed you out. Next caller. Okay. Uh, well, hey Shane's, guys, Shane's big fan. Um, in regards to dollar stores, um, people have a lot of criticisms of them. I'm not going to say that's not valid, but I do want to say that one time in college, somebody like stole my debit card info, and I lost all the money in my account. Uh, I spent it forever at the bank trying to get it figured out, but I did until I got to the dollar store and. Tried to buy laundry detergent, and my card got declined again. Um, so the stress of it led to me weeping openly in the middle of this Dollar General. Um, and the cashier was very sweet and just immediately pulled, like, two bucks out of her pocket and paid for my laundry detergent for me, even though, like, I didn't ask her to. I was fully ready to just walk out. Um, so I always thought that was really dope. And... You know, always thought the dollar stores were cool because of that. And then also, okay. the last time I was in a dollar store, I got Krampus on DVD for like two bucks, and that was also pretty rad. So, all right, love you guys. Thanks. Ah, humanity at the dollar store, bottom Thank of the barrel, the top of the love. I like this lady. Krampus for two bucks. Yeah. And uh, they took it, and I bet you weren't even the first person to cry in the dollar store that hour. So. Yeah, that, that's we. While we have not talked about the dollar store, and we have talked about the Waffle House on this podcast to extent, <laughs> similar lines of darkness, I would imagine. Yeah, I think you could yeah, like some, both you have can, bur- you can both cry have at birthday, the dollar store. Both have poor kids' birthdays all over them. Oh. Uh. But 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 okay, birthday supply like Rachel did go get Christmas decorations there. Like they said, party supplies, streamers, decorations, candles, things yeah. like that. Last yeah. minute you gotta get some stuff. Maybe not consumables, but yeah. I thank you for the call and that's nice. That was super nice. That's great. Also, I mean, yeah, you know you can flex when you you are also working at the dollar store and somebody's card de- gets declined, like yeah, I'll front you them couple bills. Yeah. What a weird she way can't to, because she was probably weird. gonna be. She, she probably yeah. would have been like, just take it, but she knows she can't say that. So like, I'll just give you the two bucks. What a weird way to have like be an employee dollar a dollar store employee and have more economic influence than someone. Like, man, I mean, you got it. it yeah, I mean, well, that was one of the negatives is that they don't pay well. So I yeah. clicked over to like the things you're supposed to buy from Costco. I got caught up in a clickbait thing. Um, <laughs> Let's do another story. That was really sweet, though, okay. honestly. Okay, here's another one. I fucking love a Dollar Tree. <laughs> Everything is absolutely a dollar. No more, no less. Oh, shit. But now it's 125 Either way, Dollar Tree is where it's at. When we ran a comedy game show, it was the place to get all of our prizes. You could get a funny pregnancy test for a dollar. You could get a funny marijuana test for a dollar. You could get a frozen uh, Long John Silver's dinner meal for one dollar. 
And if anybody thinks that that stuff's fake or not real, that the Oreos are fake, I'll tell you this. They sell a dozen eggs for $1. You cannot fake eggs. And if anyone asks me to defend Dollar General, fuck that bitch. Everything's more than a dollar. Hate Dollar General. Dollar Tree's where it's at. Meow, meow. My, my, my. God damn. Came in hot and laid it down. I got a new favorite kitten in the litter. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I didn't know you can get Long John Silver fixings. I mean, it might be the only place you can get Long John. That should tell you. Like what they're doing at Long John Silver's. <laughs> what they're doing at every fast food it's place. It's six more costs. bucks for you to make it hot. Long John, yeah, Long John Silver's just uh, just owning up to the fact, like, yeah, you can you can just cook this at home. Yeah, we're, we're kind of on our last legs as an empire. So just, I think they only had one leg in the first place because he's a pirate. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Was it you that said? I think it was you, Kyle. You were talking about how, like, <laughs> <laughs> you would, uh, oh my god, you would go to Long John Silver's and look across the way when you were a child, and it was like a, oh like a- <clears throat> yeah, we had the old the old mission style Taco Bell was across from Long John Silver's. And so it was like white trash Epcot Center because you got to feel like you walked out of like a port city and you landed in old Mexico. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're the dollar store of podcasts. And when and remember Wendy's used to be like all like Wendy's used to be their design used to be like the eighteen hundreds. Oh, it used to was a little more western. <clears throat> yeah, like a, like old west kind of town. Yeah. Fast food places used to have themes and it was cool. And I miss a themed restaurant. Theme restaurants. Put it in there. Maybe after we do raisins. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do one more voicemail. Why? Are, you, are we overdoing <laughs> Cause, it? Because <laughs> we only like one other person called it. No, I've got I'm a bunch so, more. I'm trying to make up for fucking up the thing for not being there today earlier. So okay, we'll You're play. We'll play two more. We'll play three more. How many more do you want? Yeah. I'm I'm alive now. Okay, here's our next one. And I'm dollar stores are still the shit. Poor people need them. I need them. You get everything you need, pretty cheap. Doesn't matter where it came from. I'm from New York, so nine times I'll send it off the back of the bus when they when they found it, man. What? Wait, what? You Is said, that it? yeah, that was it. Overwhelmingly positive so far. Yeah, everybody loves Dollar Store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. I mean, I think a lot of this stuff came from like a. Oh, that's our first tier of the Patreon, the Dollar Store Patreon. <laughs> what are we doing? We're going to take a, what? When we do a, a price our Patreon, the first tier is the dollar store. Pay. We get a dollar store. Oh, payment. we go to the dollar store. Then we go to Dollar General. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What's the two next dollars. stage? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's the yeah. next call. Hey boys. Hey Charlene. Uh, calling about dollar stores. Um, I think dollar stores are great because where else can you go get uh, just about everything you fucking need? And it costs less than five bucks. Like, it's cheaper than Walmart. I'm from Alabama, and those things are like the fucking state tree because they're everywhere. Um, Yeah, they're useful. They don't provide much in the way of, like, groceries and shit. But I think Dollar Generals are getting better about that, so that's cool. But uh, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Dollar Stores are tight. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Uh, he was, he is right. Dollar dollar generals are tight. Dollar generals have more like living items, produce, things that can go bad. I think the dollar store, dollar tree, it's only non-perishables. It's basically like if a whole business was an earthquake kit. That's yeah. what <laughs> the, Yeah, the dollar store yeah. 
is basically that garbage island in the middle of the Pacific. Yeah, <laughs> they're still selling things <laughs> off of it. And and if and if during an earthquake, you knew you could only live off of uh, Mister Pib Extra <laughs> <laughs> and frozen Long John Silvers. <laughs> Okay, this is our last voicemail. Hey, y'all. Dollar stores. I fucking love them. All right. Uh, just right off the bat. They're, they're amazing. They're Not everything's a dollar anymore, which sucks. But that aside, growing up as a kid, there was one on the corner uh, at an intersection. You know, walking home, we pass by it every day. Stop in. As a kid, dollar store is fucking amazing. You go in there, you can get a, a big old Mountain Dew, bag of chips, and even a little toy. Three bucks. Yeah, like four after taxes. And you were set, man. That was an afternoon. That was the rest of the week even sometimes. That toy, if you got a good one, I mean, granted, it's the dollar store. None of them are good toys. They ain't going to last that long. But if you got an all right one, you got one of the shooting guns or the cap guns, kick ass. Fucking, I got my first car accident behind the dollar store. Uh, I was just there this last weekend actually buying some, some little plates and shit to put rocks onto for, uh, you know, some Wiccan shit gems and stuff anyways that's getting off topic oh. dollar stores are fucking great they're they're part of america's oh. backbone thanks bye okay hold, hold on man you were really getting on to something there yeah dollar stores are great you could get a drink and a chips and a toy i crashed my car behind a dollar store <laughs> then i had to get plates to put rocks on for witchcraft anyway <laughs> Thanks, I'll talk to you later. Like, man, call back. I need you to call back. Don't worry. Just say it's I was the guy with the plates from the dollars. If you already believe in witchcraft, don't you think you need like a nicer plate for the rocks? I don't know why they gotta be on a plate. Okay. So many questions. Please yeah. call back. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, just don't worry. Just say I'm the guy with the dollar store plates for the witch rocks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my know. God. More about it. Everybody, this has been no accounting for taste. <laughs> Shane's uh, got to go to bed. It is 1230. It's, uh, I'm up. I'm up. I got to get a Dr. Pepper milkshake. From where? It's a little late yeah. for that. What a burger! <laughs> why Everybody, do people say it weird? What a burger! <laughs> what what a burger! It's not loop? the craziest thing. <laughs> hey, I might hit the dollar store tomorrow. <laughs> I want some candy. I want some candy for this house, for this basement. Mm -hmm. See you guys <sighs> next week. <laughs> Give us a ring at 971-259-8302 and let us know what you'd like us to talk about. It's Kyle Shane Naft Pod at gmail.com. So please email, reach out to us there. Kyle Shane Naft across all social media platforms. Kyle. <laughs> Tell them where they can find you. <laughs> uh, KyleKinane.com or at, at ampersand. Remember when they used to call ampersands ampersands and hashtags were called pound signs? Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> now it's whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's Kyle Kinane across all social media platforms. I'm Shane Torres of <laughs> Shane sure are. <laughs> across. <laughs> I'm Shane Torres across all social media platforms. Shane is a comedian dot com. Uh, I have a new special out. Go to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to our socials. Subscribe to this podcast. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It would do us a lot of good if you subscribe <laughs> to those things. Please subscribe and also share this podcast on your fucking TikTok and Instagram. It's really fun. Nine seven one two five nine eight three zero two. This is no accounting for taste on the All Things Comedy Network, a network of podcasts that have yet to have me on to promote my goddamn comedy special. Yeah. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>